hey what's going on guys sorry to interrupt the video but i want to let you know that i'm giving away the first two chapters of my new pawn shop profits book for free so click that blue button or look at the link in the description and check it out i think it's going to help you out a lot now enjoy the show what is happening everybody welcome to day number 14 we are in where the hell are we daytona beach and we're actually heading off to orlando florida today and yesterday uh, you, you remember how i told you we were going to meet up with jameson Filippi of the green room well, come to have it, we were actually mixing up our dates. He's not going to be coming uh, into the area until next week. So um, I'm not going to be meeting up with him today or tomorrow. We might meet up in Miami, maybe in a week from now. Who knows? Um, but those plans are canceled for the time being. But anyways, guys, we're going to go to Orlando, Florida. I've never been there. I've already booked my hotel um, it is a three-star hotel, but it's not the nicest one. I forgot what the name is, um, but I'll be sure to bring you inside, show you that. But uh, yeah, let's have some fun today. Not sure what we really have on the agenda. All I know is it's a late start. It's it's about 11.30. Last night, I, I ended up binging out on a bunch of candy and a bunch of crap, so I don't really feel super hot this morning. Um, but I'm just trying to get over it and not beat myself up because I've been eating really clean, been eating really healthy. And last night was like my first time that I really just like fell off, right? And, and just like went absolutely nuts. So uh, trying to recover in that aspect, but uh, we'll see what happens today. I'm sure we'll do a little picking, a little reselling. I know I gotta uh, send out some uh, stuff to the Amazon warehouses and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, let's get on with the day and I'm glad to have you here. What's going on everybody? So here we are, we are in Orlando, Florida. That's Universal Studios. Looks like they got a theme park right across the street. Uh, we're actually popping on Walgreens real quick because we, I want to see if there's any deals over here. Uh, been finding some really good stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go inside Walgreens, see if we can find some deals. And then we're going to hit up some pawn shops and possibly some thrift stores as well. I found one item right here, 30 bucks. This is going for, I believe, 60 how much is it going for? 67 bucks right now, if that'll focus in. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm back in the car and I ended up popping on a few items over there. So make sure, if you got a Walgreens in the area, go look, because I tell you, I've traveled from Myrtle Beach through Jacksonville, Daytona, and now I'm in Orlando. Each Walgreens is different. Over here, I noticed they had a lot more Disney items and um, a lot more selection, uh, a so bigger selection of games and just weird little Disney stuff over here. So check your Walgreens. They're not gonna all be the same um, and they're gonna have some different deals over here. They had, um, they had deals on items I never saw before that were three items for like $13.96 or something um, so it came to like a little over four bucks an item so uh, I did pretty well over here now I'm gonna hit some pawn shops so let's hit the road I don't know where I am right now, but I saw a sign that said pawn. So there may be, hopefully there's one inside of here somewhere. Turn right um, the let's then see. Take the first right. Oh, there I see something. Is that open though? I don't know if that looks very promising. Let's roll up. It looks like it. It looks like it's open. Oh, I hope it is because I'm freaking right pumped up. I am pumped up. I'm ready to rock and roll into this place. Is it open? I think it is. Let's go inside. All right, guys. So we're on to the next pawn shop. That one we okay, just went to. Hey. I told you not to talk. That last one we went to was horrible. There was nothing for sale. They were just buying, but uh, I think I see a pawn shop right there. Do you see that? Look, look, observe, respect that sign. Look at it, you see it? Wow, oh, it looks so cute. All right, so still driving that uh, cute little sign you saw that said pawn. They weren't even open yet, so uh, we're still on our way to the destination. Should be there in a minute. Hopefully this one has something to buy or at least it's open. Finally, we found something that's open and it looks like there's some products inside for sale. Um, there's also a CVS right next door. I don't know if anyone's been sourcing before uh, Christmas over there, but I might check that out as well. Not sure, but let's walk inside and uh, try to put some pawn shop profits in all pockets. What's going on guys? So I just got out of the pawn shop right now and I'm actually in Orlando, Florida and I just left Queen of Pawns. And I'll tell you right now, 
I felt like the king at Queen of Pawns right now because I absolutely slaughtered it. Um, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at my receipt right here. Uh, let me focus that in. I spent $1,416.45 and I ended up popping on one, two, three, four, five, six items. And all in all, if I decide to sell everything and I'm not sure if I am gonna sell everything, but if I do, I'm probably looking at a good $800 profit. So let's get into this haul and show you guys what I found. This is the most money I've ever spent at a pawn shop. I'm pumped up. I'm telling you guys right now, these are going to be some massive pawn shop profits. And um, this is just an example of why I love selling, uh, buying and selling from pawn shops. So anyways, let's get started. First item that I ended up popping on was a TI83 um, Plus, brand new in the package, brand new in the package. And everyone on YouTube, if you see me look into the left, that's because I got Periscope going live right now as well. So make sure you follow me on Periscope, I can't say it enough. And this was marked at $69, he dropped that down to 30 bucks plus tax. So got that for 30 uh, plus tax, and right now that's going for about 90 bucks. So probably make a good 40 or 50 bucks profit on that. Also ended up getting two more TI-83 calculators. These were used and they were tested. Make sure you throw some AAA batteries in the back and make sure that they are uh, working properly. But these are in good shape, TI-83s. Right now they're not going for a ton of money right now. I got these for $22.50 each. Guess how much they had these marked at, guys? Guess how much they had it marked at? 99 bucks each. They wanted $99 each for these. Me and a guy, the manager, had a good laugh, and he says, what the hell are my employees doing? $22.50 each. He wanted $30 each. We knocked it down to... Um, we knocked it down to $22.50 each, so got those two. Um, I'll probably send them in and put them in at like 60 bucks and they'll sell right before school starts. Um, and then also, this was marked at 99 bucks as well. Whoa, my camera just fell over. Let me get that resituated. One second, holy mackerel, that was crazy right there. All right, we do not want that going down again. Let me try to put something there, cool. So this, so we ended up getting this for um, 30 bucks as well, and this was marked at $99. This is a TI-84 Plus. This is definitely a, a higher-end calculator, and this will bring in 70 to 80 bucks all day long. Again, I think I was getting upwards to $90 before school. Check it out on Camel, Camel, Camel. You'll see uh, the pricing history, but that was my next find. Um, and here is the big puppy. Are you guys ready for the big puppy? We got 134 people on Periscope right now. This is the big puppy. The dog came out of the kennel. This is a dog escaping out of an animal shelter. What am I talking about right now? I have no freaking clue, but I'm pumped up right now. Check this out. This is a Nikon. D7050, a Nikon D7050. I want everybody right now on Periscope and everybody on YouTube to go to Amazon and take a look at that camera. This camera is going for about $1,800 new at Best Buy and on Amazon. Got this for $800. I got this plus the uh, lens that comes on it, which I could sell for probably 100 to 170. This, the body and the lens came to um, about 870, about $880 with tax. So 880 in total. Um, that's with tax and the lens. The body alone, the body alone is going for about 1500 to $1,600 and has a rank of I want to say it had a rank of 450 um, in cameras, which is an amazing sale right there. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or sell it. If I sell it, I'm probably going to make between five and $700 on this camera. That includes the lens and the body, but I may just sell my old camera, my Canon 70D and keep this. I've got to kind of play around with it, but this is a serious camera. In addition, in addition, it came with the original charger and an extra battery. I don't know what the battery is going for, but I know I just spent 50 bucks for a used Canon battery for my 70D, so that might knock the price down again another 50 bucks in terms of profit. So got the, the Nikon 750, got the 50 millimeter lens, got an extra 
battery and it comes with the original charger all for 875 that's going to be some massive profits right there um everyone on periscope be patient i'm gonna be jumping in with you but that was crazy absolutely crazy and also i picked this up this isn't super profitable um but i purchased it because if i decide to stick with the nikon 750 and sell my old canon 70 i'm gonna want a serious lens and this is a nikon 24 by 120 millimeter lens. This is a serious, serious lens. They had this thing marked at $600. Ended up getting this for 400 buckaroos. And this will sell for, I could probably make 80 to 100 bucks profit if I decided to sell this. And I believe the rank was super low. Um, but again, I'm super tempted to keep this camera and let go of my other Canon 70D, which is another pawn shop find that if I decide to sell that, I will realize the profits. So those are the items I found. The Nikon D750, um, super prof profitable. I got two TI-83 pluses for $22.50 each used. Got a TI-83 plus brand new in the package for uh, 30 bucks. I mean, this was marked at 69 bucks. The first thing I did when I walked in that pawn shop is I said, how much would you mark this down for? Just to get a feel what they would discount things for. He says 30 bucks. I'm like, really? You're gonna discount it? 50% brand new in the box. You could send it into Amazon. That's what I'm saying. These pawn shop workers are smart, but they don't know it all. So if you're looking to make money from pawn shops, not everyone's going to be like this. Trust me. I've been to hundreds of them. Not everyone's going to be like this, but every once in a while, you're going to score a jackpot. Um, one thing I want to say to everybody is don't invest this much money into cameras if you don't know what you're doing, right? I've got experience with cameras. I've start I started with the T the T3Is. Um, I even started with the Power Shots. Moved up to the Canon 70D. I've I've had my fair share of uh, cameras, so I know how to test them. I know how to experiment with them, but absolutely amazing finds right there. Super pumped up. Um, not sure how much thrifting I'm even going to do because I literally just spent, again, I spent $1,416.45. So I might just call it a day and... Um, go back to the hotel. I'm right across from Universal Studios. So anyways, everyone on YouTube, that was it. I'm going to head back to the hotel, I believe, get something to eat. But uh, yeah, hopefully you'll learn, peeps. So I just got into my room right now. So I got to give you guys a hotel tour. Um, I only ended up popping on that one pawn shop just because I spent so much money and just killed it over there. I said, you want to know what? Why don't I just come back, relax, enjoy myself? Uh, this is my view from the hotel room. Uh, this hotel came to, I think it was 50, with, the, with the, um, the resort fee and everything, I think it came to about 53 or 54 a night. So it's really, really awesome right there. As you can see, I've got my uh, my brand new Nikon D750 on the bed, just messing around with it. And there's my uh, Canon 70D. So just screwing around. It's real nice in here. I uh, got two little chairs, double beds. Um, just found out that I broke my tripod. See this little ball right here? It's supposed to stay really firm and, 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 and stiff so the tripod doesn't move around. And it's all messed up. So trying to fix that. Um, yes, I got to bring this back out. We got a bathroom. We got all this good stuff in here. It's looking clean, clean, clean. So yeah, gonna gonna go downstairs, work out, get some food, check out the pool to see what's going on there, and enjoy the night. So I'll touch base with you guys in a little while, and uh, let's see what happens. What's going on, everybody? So I'm back in my hotel room, and uh, it's probably about 10:30 right now. I know I haven't talked to you guys in a while, but I've been super busy tonight. Hopefully, you got a chance to catch my two hour, yes, that's right, my two hour live show that I did on YouTube and Periscope. If you didn't get a chance to check that out, um, I'll leave a link in the description. So make sure to check that out. It was jam packed with uh, information and uh, people were having a lot of fun in there. So check that out. And um, also did about an hour of cardio, did an hour of cardio. I've been working on a few things uh, behind the scenes and whatnot. And I know a few people made some comments like, Steve, bring us behind the scenes. Show us some stuff that you're doing with Kindle. Show us some stuff you're doing with your product and your book and other things like that so I'm definitely gonna bring you guys behind the scenes as well um, one more thing I'm looking to uh, do is figure out how to use this thing because I tell you right now I, I come from a Canon world, right? Like, I'm used to using the Canon. That's what I'm really good at. I know about all the functions and the buttons. But when it comes to Nikons, I mean, I'm telling you right now, I've got a lot of work. So, going to be doing some more research on this. Um, 
But yeah, guys, I want to thank you for rocking out with me. Day, what is today? Day 13, day 14? I don't even remember. I'm so tired. I got to get to bed early uh, tonight because I'm just, I'm puckered out. I can tell that I'm just working a little too hard and going crazy. And I know I haven't been vlogging as best as I could be. And I, I'm going to improve, guys. I really am. Um, I'm going to improve and make these vlogs better. I'm just trying to pace myself. And it's, it's a challenge at times to balance out, you know, the vlogging, the editing, the driving, the hotels, the shipping. I mean, it's a lot of work. But you want to know what? It's not an excuse. I'm going to be bringing you guys some more content. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go behind the scenes and show you all my settings that I use in my repricer. Because I'll tell you right now, my sales are freaking uh, blowing up. I'm going to see if I could check my sales while I'm on camera. But my sales are literally going uh, through the roof. And this repricer has been a freaking blessing in disguise. So I want to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes as well of um, the repricer and the settings if you want to get that repricer because I'm telling you, I'm not affiliated or anything. But uh, this is just today. Let me see if it, it'll focus in. I'm at $593 in sales, you guys. And... Um, that's very unordinary. That is not typical uh, based on my normal sales. I mean, my normal sales has been, you know, 100, 150 bucks per day, even with Q4. Um, so, I mean, 600 bucks is just like, holy crap. So, I'm going to show you guys tomorrow behind the scenes. We'll uh, go into the settings and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to be in Orlando for another day. So, uh, let's have some fun. But thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that pawn shop haul. Hopefully, you enjoyed that two hour show tonight. If you didn't watch it, check the link. Um, but you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you soon and peace. Bye.